Hey YouTube, this is Dan with Chase and Wind. What I have for you today is going to be a review of the XK Alien X250. I believe this is an alias clone and a pretty cool looking quadcopter. It's got a shape that's sort of unique unto itself. It's a very thin profile. Um, everything's tucked away, the wires and everything, nice and neat. And uh, this uses an 850 milliamp battery single cell uh, JRC connector and it uses this particular radio and let's go through the radio real quickly this particular button on top you short press and it does a uh, return uh, to home essentially uh, it flies back in the direction that its initial heading was set in a long press on the button will uh, put the quadcopter into headless mode uh, this particular button on the side, if you buy the version that comes with the camera, a short press will uh, take a picture and a long press will start or stop the video. And then the throttle, uh, a push on that changes the rates from low to high. And on this side, if you push in on the pitch roll stick, uh, then that activates the mode where it will do flips. And so this uh, particular quad has a stated range of 300 yards. There's no way we can fly it that far because basically you probably won't be able to see it out past maybe 100 yards. So I'm going to fly it up and down my street today and then I'll probably do a part two video where I'll go across the street to the field I have and do some longer range flights. But today will be just sort of an orientation of the quadcopter itself and my thoughts on how it flies. So let's go for a flight. So we're in low rate right now. Fairly shallow pitch. That's the full pitch right there. Whoa, real shallow. And the sun is blasting me right in the eyes. Let me get across the street. There we go. First impressions, it's a smooth flyer. Let's take a look at the yaw rate on it. Let me bring it down a little bit. Yaw rate's not bad. Fairly quick. Let's see if I can put it into high rate. It's hard to tell if I'm in high rate or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to land this and try to figure out the high rate on it. And uh, then I'll get back. It does to beep when I do it. There's no uh, indicator on the control to show that it's in a higher rate. And it doesn't seem to fly uh, much different. So I'm not sure if I have it in a high rate or not. But we'll go ahead and fly it the way it is. So let me bring it over and demonstrate flips for you. That's accomplished by pushing on the pitch roll. You push in. There's a backwards flip. Forward. Let's see what it does on the sideways. Yeah, nice sideways flip. Bring it down a little closer. Just So it does flips nicely. Yeah, it's just hard to believe that uh, I have this in high rate because it flies like it's in uh, low rate. That's full pitch forward, full throttle. Um, I have to believe that uh, this is still in low rate. I'm gonna check out some of the other reviews on it to see if I, I've, uh, I'm doing something wrong. Because it uh, flies really smooth, but it's also very lethargic in the rate that I'm flying it in right now. And while it's cool looking, uh, at least in this particular rate, it's not very fast. 
Now this would be definitely a great beginner's quadcopter. It's extremely smooth and stable flyer. Very predictable. There's funnels on it. They're okay. So I'm uh, going to go in and check out some videos on this to see if I'm doing something wrong to find a high rate. Because i got to believe I've only been flying it in low rate. And then uh, I'll come back and uh, we'll continue the flight. But you can see this flight is extremely stable. And it's a nice, sleek, compact uh, frame on it. Pretty cool looking frame. And the yaw on it is decent, even... Uh, even in the low rate, the yaw is all right. It's got orange lights in the front and red lights in the back. And what I failed to mention also is on the pitch roll stick, a short press puts it in flip mode and a long press will turn off the lights. So there we go, the lights are off. So we don't need those on the daytime. Maybe get another half a minute or so fly time if you turn those off. For the you intermediate flyers out there or above, um, I don't think you're going to like this one. It's not that fast. It's certainly not very responsive. And uh, they may call this an alias clone, but it can't even wipe the uh, dust off the shoes of the alien. Um, it's nowhere near as responsive as a U807 or an X658. Uh, not e its high mode is not even equivalent to their low mode. I haven't seen a lot of reviews of this quadcopter. Um, and after flying it, I can kind of see why. It's just, uh, that's full throttle right there, by the way. <laughs> full throttle, full pitch. It just sort of smoothly lumbers along. But it's not very exciting to fly uh, for those of you who have intermediate or above flying skills. But for the beginner, this is going to be a really nice quadcopter. Let's try that one key return. So let's send it out. I'll push the button. And sure enough, here it comes back. And then any key you push takes it out of the one key return. You don't have to push the button again. You can. I didn't have as uh, much luck with uh, headless mode on it. I pushed the button and the copy I have doesn't seem to uh, work too well. It was sort of doing what it wanted to do. I'll bring it over and let you get a little bit closer look at it. So you see it's got those orangish yellow eyes in the front. red lights in the back. Looks like there's three of them. Two on the other side and uh, one right in the very back. Really cool looking quadcopter. Very sleek. Um, just not exciting to fly for those of you who have been flying very long. So I think that's going to do it for this review. I think this is the uh, called the XK Detect um, X250. It says Alien on it, so Alien X250. And I think I paid somewhere around $30, $35 for it.
So this is Dan with Chasing the Wind, signing out, and I'll see you on the next review. Take care, YouTube. Bye-bye.